Okay, let's jump to the 1500 right now. Timothy Cherry, the favorite 2019 champion. The Kenyan Trials was the only blip on the year for him. He won his last two races, including a personal best in Monaco where he ran 328.28. Jacob Ingebrigtsen is entered in the 15, in the 5. It's going to be a tough double to do, so I will be watching whether or not he scratches one of them. If he does run this race and he wants to win gold, he's going to have to get his first win over Chariot in history. He's 0 for 10 all time against Chariot. 0 for 10, including loss a loss this year in Monaco where he finished third. He was fourth in 2019. His best performance this year actually comes in a 5K when he ran that 12.48 in Florence. Uh, Stuart McSwain from Australia, 329, been solid this year. Lewandowski got the bronze in the last World Championships. And you have people like Charles Sumatwa and Abel Kipsang of Kenya. And the Americans, Centro, Hawker, Nagus. This one's going to be fun. I think I think Chariot is going to win. If Inga Britson isn't there, then it's going to be really wide open for the remaining medals, though. Yeah, do you think there's a chance Inga Britson won't be there? I think he's... I mean, he's entered in 15 and 5. I mean, the only way he'll pull out of the 15 is if he wants to just go all in and be a super fresh for the 5K. Okay, I'm looking at the chat right now, and someone said Jacob scratched the 5K. So Really? Yes. Yes. It was going to be tough to do both. The way they had him stacked up, the finals were back-to-back days. Um, That opens up to 5K, like major. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Yep, I'm seeing this I'm seeing this tweet from six hours ago from Athletics Wiki. Jacob Ingerbritson will only compete in the fifteen hundred and it's not taking part in the five thousand. Five thousand, we'll get to it in a second, is just it's gonna be a gauntlet, it is gonna be ridiculous. I'm guessing it's he thinks, hey. Yeah, okay, so metal odds versus gold metal odds are two different things. And I think <laughs> yes, getting- <that's- laughs> Well, no, but one can be better in one than the other. I think his chances of beating Chariot, his chance of getting a gold is higher in the 5K because I think he can beat the top dogs there. But I think his chances of meddling in a way like are higher in the like, 15. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. It's weird how that works, but it makes sense. Yeah. Chariot is better than any, is, is better relative to his event. Is a more formidable foe than the 5K because Cheptegei is in the 5,000 and Ingerbritsen beat him in Florence and everybody else when he ran that 12, 1248. And you could say, all right, well, that's a that's a tactical that wasn't a tactical race. It's going to be different. Well, Cheptegei's best chance to win is to push it from the front. Yeah. So that was that was his best scenario for for winning. And not only did he beat him, he beat Katir. He beat all these other big names, Mohamed. So that was the best 5,000-meter race of the year, and he won it. So that's why I thought he might go to the 5K. But him in the 1,500 um, obviously makes the 1,500 a bit deeper, a bit more interesting. I, I'm picking Chariot to win. I think you got to be pretty risky to pick anything else going against history. Yeah. One thing I think is interesting is guess who has the third best odds behind Chariot and Ingebrigtsen to win? Centro? Nope. McSwain? Keep guessing. Nope. Josh Kerr? Keep guessing. No. No. Nope. Add him way down there. Keep guessing. I'm assuming it's somebody. I'm assuming it's somebody we talk about here. Is it Cole Hawker? Yes. Oh wow. Plus seventeen hundred. Oh. Wow. Cole Hawker. Plus seven. Plus seventeen hundred. Plus seventeen hundred. That sounds. That sounds about right, plus 1,700, but for him to be the third best odds. Well, it's because is- second odds is Ingebrigtsen with plus 250. So they clearly don't think anyone in the, in the right mind is finishing top two outside of those two, Chariot and Ingebrigtsen. Hawker's medal odds are plus 300. So what do you – okay, That's so aggressive. here we go. Who has a higher finish, Cole Hawker or Matt Sensowitz? Now that we've seen what Sancho did in his mile, who do you think will have a higher finish? 
And if they do have a higher finish, do you think that higher finish will be metal? Let me answer your question with another question. How do you think okay. this race is going to play out with Timothy Chariot in it? I think it's going to be fast. Yes, I agree. I'll go with Centro. I'll go with Centro. Look at the look at the track record here. He's made six of seven global finals. He gets to the final and he finishes way high up. I think the 349 was him preparing himself for the chariot type race. So I'll I'll take Centro as the first American, but I think I think he'll be out of the medals. I like, I think McSwain and Kerr are being really overlooked based on their seasons. Yeah, Kerr just did a, a time trial where he ran a, a 146-800, but went out in like 55 and then closed in like 50. So that's pretty impressive yeah. to trying to show like, hey, being able, can you close hard off of a, a fast third lap? Um, yeah, I think Josh Kerr is being slept on, but you know who ultimately is the biggest person that we're all sleeping on? Marcin Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Yeah. Lewandowski. Oh, yeah. Bronze. And he, he is, he, he's going to, he's going to die. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's I, I think, yeah. Cherry, Cherry, Inga Britson, Lewandowski, McSwain, Kerr, I think are my guys up front. I think. Those, I think those will be the, that'll be the group that gets the medal. I know I, I like narrowed it down to six for the medals. It's like, here's a long list of names and all these people can medal. But as you look at McSwain's year, it's really, it's really good. You look at, you look at Kerr's, we're getting excited about Centro's 349 mile. Kerr ran a 331, 800 much earlier in the season. Yeah. McSwain. And that's th McSwain was yeah, 334 in his championships. He lost to Jai Edwards, then third in Gateshead, second in Doha, one in in the Bislett Games, and fourth in Monaco. He's and he got second in the 3K at Gateshead that was super fast with Kajelka. He's pretty much in the mix in every race he runs. McSwain. Yeah. I'm interested to see how the first two rounds play out. Like, luckily, I think, hopefully. I'm not sure how this works with the odds, uh, but I can wait through the first two rounds before I have to make my bet. Right? They don't close right. off the betting odds after the before the prelims, do they? That wouldn't make any sense. I have no idea. I have no idea. How yeah. No, I would guess. You gotta let me wait till the final, them. because once I watch well, those that second that, that semifinal, the odds will change, but I'll be able to really understand who I truly think can be the person to kind of sneak into that top three with Cherry and Ingebrigtsen. So. But I'm agree with you. Also, I think Chariot's going to win, and I think Egan Britson will get second. Okay, next question. Which country will do the best? If we were scoring this by country, Ooh. let's say top. You can run three, but top two score. So you got Kenya with Chariot, Samatwo, and Kipsang. You got Norway with Jacob and Philip. You have Australia with McSwain. Hoare and Jai Edwards. You have the UK with Kerr, Waitman, and Hayward. They got a Josh and two Jakes. And then the US has Centro, Hawker, and Nagoose. Now that would be a fun thing to bet on, right? That would be fun to like bet on which country scores the most cross country. Uh, like you score 10, 8, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, like NCA scoring sure. style, which country would win? I mean, Kenya. Is in good position, right? Because they they're going to get ten points. They got a low stick. Um, Norway, I don't see the other Ingebrigtsen doing that well, so I'll take them out. U.S. I think could put three in the final, but I don't see them having multiple guys in the top half of the race. I think only maybe one of them will be in the top half. So they're kind of, I don't know yet. Great Britain, I think. Could put two people in the top half. Australia, I also think could put two people in the top half. So if I had to rank it, I probably would go Kenya, Great Britain, Australia, US. 
That would be my that's ranking. fair. To to go back to the last championships, Kenya got was first and seventh. Norway only had one in the final. Great Britain win five, six, eleven, which is solid. And then the US went eight and ten. Watch out for Australia. Oliver Hoare has been solid this year. I know he's racing yes. really hard to get on the Aussie team, and but he put out some times there that I think are gonna prepare him to to win this, or sorry, not to win this, to to compete in this type of race with with Chariot 